What's up beautiful people, it's your boy Gideo and I'm back again with a new video. Today we're going to be checking out 10 most powerful militaries in Africa 2022. This is going to be my first time watching this, but I'm really hoping Nigeria is number one because I think we have the most powerful military. I'm ready, without wasting your time, let's get to it. Most important and powerful continents of the world. With all the uprisings, terrorism activities and unrest observed in different countries of Africa. This is Nigeria, that's our flag. World powers keep measuring Africa's affairs to gain their share. It takes a lot of factors to become a stable country. These factors include the economic and military power, the natural resources of the country, and how much the country is important to the world. In today's world, a country needs to be powerful enough to protect its sovereignty, supremacy, and independence. And there are many African countries who are more than capable of doing just that. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the top 10 most powerful countries in Africa. But before you get into all that, don't forget to give the video a like and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on awesome future videos regarding the interesting continent of Africa. With that out of the way, let's begin. Yep. 10. Libya The state of Libya is the fourth largest country in Africa and the 16th largest country globally. It has a population of about 6.9 million and a nominal GDP per capita of $4,046. Libya has a defense budget of $4.9 billion, and the strength of its military $4.9 billion, that's a lot. comes mainly from defense. its large catch of equipment, yeah. despite a relatively small number of active troops. Further hampering Libya's abilities is the continuing violence and arrest, stemming from the revolution which began in 2011. A stable government has yet to emerge from it. Regardless of all this, the country still has available 2,500 armored vehicles, 500 tanks, 600 towed artillery pieces, 6,500 mm. logistical vehicles, and much more. The country's most powerful man seems That's to be General lot. Haftar. And this is number 10. <laughs> who won the civil war in 2018. I don't know if I really underrated, you know, what I was expecting, but... 18. It's good work, I'm Nine. impressed. Tunisia. Tunisia. Tunisia is the only nation in North Africa classified as free by the Freedom House Organization. Officially known as the Republic of Tunisia, the country has an estimated population of 11.7 million and a nominal That's GDP per capita of $3,983. With a defense budget of $810 million, the Tunisian Armed Forces is one of the strongest in Africa. The Tunisian Armed Forces is composed of three mechanized brigades, one Saharan Territorial Group, one special forces group and one military police regiment. They have contributed to peacekeeping missions, including during the Rwandan genocide, and were forced into border clashes with Libya rebels in 2011 during their civil war. They hold 900 armored fighting vehicles, 350 tanks, a manpower of over 5 million personnel, 100 and manpower of over 5 million personnel. Let's take it back. Did I hear that correctly? A manpower of over 5 million personnel, wow, 139 pieces of aircraft, and a total naval strength of 50. Russia is world power and the manpower is 2 million. Yeah. 50. Tunisia has recently managed to have a stable government and reduce the ISIS threat on its eastern border. Its armed forces are relatively small but efficient. 8. Ethiopia. The Federal Ethiopia. Democratic Republic of Ethiopia has an approximate population of 108 million and a nominal GDP per capita of $826 million. As a landlocked country, Ethiopia has focused its resources on developing its army and air force to an impressive degree. Several hundred thousand personnel make up its current force, and it has significant numbers of land and air systems at its disposal. An enormous population allows Ethiopia to maintain a large fighting force, and gives the country one of the greatest militaries on the continent. The army has however difficulties in containing popular uprisings throughout the country that turned into local militants, and the army seems not prepared for asymmetrical warfare. 7. Angola The Republic of Angola has an estimated po Does they even have a machete in the flag? population of 33 million, <laughs> ready for you. which makes it the 7th largest country in Africa. It has a nominal GDP per capita of $3,213 and a power rating of 1.07. The Angolan Armed Forces FAA, headed by the Chief of Staff Geraldo Nunda, succeeded. This is why I like the military. The dressing always very neat. Even when they are at war, they just still have a lot of swag. Seeded the Armed Forces for the liberation of Angola in 1991. 
The FAA owns 920 armored fighting vehicles, 140 tanks, 270 pieces of aircraft, and has a navy of 56 That's craft. Angolan forces have been involved in fightings in the Angolan province of Cabinda. Angola is a country where petrol plus overseas and its French director Vincent Miclet have a lot of influence. The revenues generated by oil sales and by petrol plus overseas dividends to the government permits Angola to have one of the strongest army of the continent. 6. Morocco. Morocco. The Kingdom of Morocco has an approximate population of 36 million and a nominal GDP per capita of $3,126. Highly dependent on foreign equipment, the Royal Moroccan Armed Forces have been involved in the conflict with the Poliraso, a liberation movement fighting for the independence of Western Sahara. They are involved in numerous peacekeeping missions, including in Somalia. The military has at its disposal 2,120 armored fighting vehicles, 1,348 tanks, 323 total aircraft pieces. Wow, a lot and of a total equipment. Total strength of 100. We are covered in Africa. We have a lot. 21. However, wow, Morocco is I'm currently impressed. struggling with the strong riots in the RIF region and there is nothing that its powerful army can do. 5. Kenya. Kenya The Republic of Kenya is the 29th most populous country with an estimated population of 53 million and a nominal GDP per capita of $1,475. Kenya has established itself as a vital participant in international peacekeeping missions and is able to do so due to its merchant marine strength and an enormous labor force resulting in high available manpower. Though it doesn't have as much of its own equipment, its role as a member of international teams allows the Kenyan military to share resources with other countries, strengthening its own capabilities at the same time. On top of that, Kenya has established itself as one of the strongest democracies in the continent with South Africa. So future is bright for Kenya's armed forces, with a strong sense of leadership from its political leaders. The army was able to reduce significantly the Al-Shabaab impact in Somalia and permitted Kenyans to live more safely. 4. Nigeria Nigeria is number 4? I thought we were going to be number 1. The Federal Republic of Nigeria has an estimated population of 220 million, <laughs> making it the most populous yeah, there's a lot of us. country in Africa and the seventh most populous nation globally. Due to its size, it's no surprise that several hundred thousand troops comprise the Nigerian armed forces the Nigerian Armed Forces is composed of three main tiers, the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. Much like Algeria and Angola, an abundant domestic oil supply eases the financial burden of involvement in military conflict. Nigeria has more than 1,400 armored vehicles, 360 tanks, and 6,000 logistical vehicles at its disposal, oh. as well as nearly 300 aircraft. And That's what I'm talking about. Let's flex on them. 25 high-powered naval vessels. However, this strong army has proven incapable of defending its citizens in northern Nigeria. Incapable? How do you say incapable? We are doing a good job. Yeah, against Boko Haram. Yeah, Boko Haram is harmless right now. Army seems prepared against conventional attacks, but less for asymmetrical warfare against insurgents. 3. South Africa The Republic of South Africa is one of the most powerful countries in Africa. With about 56 million people and a nominal GDP per capita of $5,121. As it hasn't been embroiled in an international military conflict for some time, South Africa uses its highly advanced military for peacekeeping and international cooperation. Its aircraft and naval vessels are notoriously well equipped with the latest technology, and although the country has less than 100,000 active frontline personnel, it has the capabilities and manpower for much more. Add to that a vast array of land system technology and the South African military is a force to be reckoned with. 2. Algeria The People's Democratic Republic of Algeria has an approximate population of 43 million and a nominal GDP per capita of $3,815. As Algeria has a large maritime border, it has developed all its military capabilities to an impressively modern degree, including its land, sea and air forces. Algeria's active frontline personnel number more than 127,000 troops and it has nearly 2,000 armored fighting vehicles at its disposal. That's Algeria also has the added benefit of its own oil reserves, allowing it to use its own fuel to power tanks, aircraft carriers, naval vessels and more. However, lack of leadership in Algeria may be an obstacle for setting objective to this powerful army. 1. Egypt Egypt is number 1? 
Nigeria is not number one. Called the Arab Republic of Egypt, the country is the third most populous country on the African continent and the most populated nation in the Arab world. As per 2021 United Nations statistics, Egypt has about 104 million inhabitants and a nominal GDP per capita of $4,028. Egypt put itself over the top with regard to military strength due to the sheer size of its armed forces. Nearly 500,000 active personnel serve on its active frontline force, far surpassing all its African counterparts. It has nearly 10,000 armored fighting vehicles. 60,000. Okay. <laughs> okay. 10,000 armored. Okay. The logistical vehicles and 900 aircraft. 900 large aircraft. We had 300. The reserves from which to grow. The military has been somewhat undermined in wake of the Egyptian it's revolution. But after the Tamarod coup is stronger than ever and CC in power, the army is controlling the country. Egyptian forces are involved in the Libyan civil war with tacit support from General Haftar. Egyptian forces are also engaged in a total war in the Sinai region against Daesh elements, and they seem incapable of dismantling ISIS and Hamas cells in the Sinai region. So here you are, top 10 most powerful militaries in Africa. Which of these military forces impresses you the most? Don't hesitate to share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Also, don't forget to press the like button. Yeah, that was a very good video, 10 most powerful militaries in Africa. But my question would be, how did the author get the statistics, you know, to compile and put all those things together? Anyways, I still had a good time though. I thought Nigeria was going to be number one, but it looks like Egypt deserves it. <laughs> how did they get all this military equipment though? They have so much. 10,000 armored vehicles. What are they preparing for? Is there like a world war coming that we don't know about? Hmm. Egypt, tell us what we don't know. <laughs> That's very impressive. Let me know what you think of it if you want us to bring more videos like this. Also, the channel that posted this video is called Explore Africa. So if you want to go check them out, you know, go support your people, you know, go check them out. This is the end of this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.